दी प्राचीन मंदिर ठाकुर श्री गोपाल जी महाराज एवं सोमवंशीय धर्मशाला मीन्स दी एंशंट टेम्पल ऑफ ठाकुर श्री गोपाल जी एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो धर्मशाला वेयर दैट मीन्स देर इज प्लेस फॉर रेस्टिंग फॉर पुल ग्रूम्स the address is given as purane post office ke paas bada bazar govardhan that's written in the bottom line in smaller print this means that the address is near the old post office in the big bazar of govardhan isn't that so interesting because in the olden days um the villages they didn't have addresses like we have today a number and a street name it was always connected with the post office so um I know because I'm researching documents of my forefathers and uh, there are no street names or numbers there are just post office plays a very very important role because each village uh means of communication was by letters so one had to go to the post office to collect money to collect letters and so everything was related to the post office So let's enter the temple of Gopal Ji Maharaj. Are you ready? <laughs> this temple has many altars. Actually, this uh, is the uh, altar of Radha Krishna, the main altar of Gopal Ji, and um, then there is Sita Ram, Lakshman, Hanuman. Very unusual, and I'll come back to this altar to show you why I think. the altar is unusual and on my right in an alcove on the wall is a beautiful murti of mata saraswati she looks so glorious in her yellow chadar and her eyes are very deep set this temple is 150 years old by the way so you know there's so much of uh, story is coming from her eyes i can just feel the vibration you had to be here and here's a wonderful altar with the murti of shri narsingh dev bhagwan just yesterday we celebrated narsingh chaturdashi and i was quite taken aback to see the murti of narsingh dev because i know there's another temple of narsingh dev bhagwan at govardhan hill i never knew about this one so i was overjoyed because i love narsingh dev i love the story of narsingh dev hiranyakashipu and pralad maharaj because it has so much so many lessons that we can learn from this leela and here you see a beautiful tile of radha krishna now as we go up on this altar there are many photos uh, and shilas and and then on the middle altar there are murtis of gopal ji and then on the main altar on top there are sweet radha krishna murtis so this is actually the altar of uh, thakur gopal ji and uh, here's a little closer up on the right you can see the shilas with the yellow flowers on them and a uh, little above that you can see the little gopalas um laddu gopal there are 1 2 3 4 laddu gopals with the giriraj shila in the center and then there's the radha krishna murtis on top of course many frames of radha krishna as well moving on i wanted to share with you why i think the altar of sita ram lakshman hanuman ji is so different Uh, as usual you have hanuman ji standing on the left at the bottom but i've never seen any time where sita mata is in the center i've always seen um her uh, next to shri ram and uh, or for that matter i've always seen shri ram in the center but here you have sita mata in the center and um shri ram is on uh, her right and lakshman ji is on her left side um coming back to this uh section of the mandir here i almost never saw but thank god i did is a beautiful murti of durga mata and across that is the shivling uh where we did our puja as well and this is basically the courtyard of the temple it's not very big temple but it's very quaint but has a lot um of energy flowing in it om namah shivaya like i said the temple is 150 years old so you can imagine when our forefathers went to south africa this temple existed at that time in govardhan village uh, this is the satsang bhavan um you saw it on top it was written satsang bhavan where they sit and have satsang according to the pujari all these architecture that you see 
except for the tiling. The tiling was done to protect the structure, but otherwise the original structure um, beneath that is the original structures. And uh, over the years, of course, it has worn away, so they've had to do repairs. This, there you can see one pillar that is still there. Um, there's a staircase going up. This is the water pump where you pump and uh, wash your feet before you go on to do the puja. So let's take the blessings once more of Thakur Shri Gopalji Maharaj and blessings for all of us. May you have a wonderful journey ahead to all of you watching. If you like my videos, please share the link with your friends and family. I'm also on YouTube and also on Facebook and on Instagram. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Namaste.